Okay, folks, we're doing problem set four, question four. And it says the Apple worksheet um, has uh, Apple revenues by category. And uh, the first thing it says is to fill in the quarter year column by combining uh, the information from column A and column B so that you have Q1-2012, Q2-2012. So what we can do in here is just type right into the quarter year column Q1-2012, Q2-2012, and then we can use flash fill. So on the Mac, the way that flash fill works is um, after you've typed in enough so that Excel can recognize a pattern, and sometimes you'll need to type in a little bit more, but then you can go up under fill and select flash fill and it'll flash it right down there and we've got all of the data. So now the next part, create a two-dimensional lookup in cell D4 to return the approximate share of Apple's or the appropriate share of Apple's revenue based on a quarter year to be entered in cell D2 and a product to be entered in D3. And we should use data validation such that the only the time periods between the first quarter of 2012 and the third quarter of 2017 and only the five product categories may be entered in D2 and D3 respectively. And your formula should work even if the columns are uh, the columns are inserted or they're rearranged in the revenue data array. And no cell in this worksheet should display more than two decimal places. Um, and any border or other formatting should be clean and consistent. So let's go ahead and take care of that. And I should say the first thing that I notice up here is um, in the quarter year that's put in uh, the faculty member that made this up put a space in, and I guess they deliberately made a version that was outside of the, um, the acceptable range in here. So uh, let's first work with something that we know is going to work, and we can start to build this out in pieces, and then we'll put in the data validation right in at the end. So why don't we do maybe Q4 for um, 2015, and we'll use our product. Why don't we type in iPad right in here? And so we want to find the share of, of um, this category. And so for iPad, what we want to do first is we're going to want to find the column from um, here to uh, here. Um, and we're going to use that as part of the V lookup when we go down here. And then we try to figure out, okay, you know, what is the column that we're going to go and, and take a look at? So we'll use the match function, first of all, to try to find out which column we need. So here we'll say equals match and tab over and the lookup value that we're going to look up is going to be this category right here and the lookup array that we're going to look up is just this one right across this part here and we do a comma and then the match type is going to be a zero and we can see that ipad is two so one two is that's great and if we were to do services and we pressed enter there we would see that that would be four one two three four so perfect uh, now remember what we do with respect to the lookup is we're going to try to find out what the percentage is here so we'll just say um, equals v lookup and um, we can tab over and what is the lookup value uh, well this is the um, quarter that we're looking up here so we'll start right here this is what we're going to look up vertically here and then uh, comma the next thing is it wants the table array so that's just this set of values here and again we start from the first column that we're vertically looking up and then we say comma and then we want the column index number so that's going to be this number that we came up with right over here so I'm just going to put this up here if you wanted to cut this out and put this in as one line that would be fine and uh, then we'll say comma and then for the range lookup that we put in here remember the range lookup is the true or the false and if we say false in here this is the one where we want an exact match and um, we do a parenthesis to, to um, uh, close that and then press enter and let's take a look at what we've got happening here for the Apple revenue share for um, uh, the fourth quarter 2015 for services let's see here's fourth quarter for 2015 and if we look over here at services services is 988 and oh we're looking at 1336 here so we're looking at Mac instead and why is that the case well when we take a look I want to make sure that the user only types in iPhone iPad Mac services and other products in here so I want to make sure that I limit my lookup range here somebody shouldn't type in quarter year and think that that's going to get them a correct value the problem is though that our columns are counted at one two three four five and six right in here so what can we do to make sure that they get the correct value well it's pretty straightforward we just um, click in here and uh, we say um, we're going to get our value from uh, column E3 in here. See where E3 is? Well, we can just say E3 and we can say plus one. 
and that'll give us the exact value we want. If you want to make sure, and so that's 988, which is exactly right here. Um, if we want to make sure, hey, is that going to work for our first column? So let's say if we did um, Q3-2017 for iPhone, and we indeed get um, 5472. We want to make sure that it works up here. We'll do Q1 uh, 2012, and for other products, and we can see we got 8.62. So all of this works great so far, but what we also want to do is we want to get that validation piece working. Now data validation is remarkably straightforward if you just click uh, on the cell that you want to validate. So the user can only type in a certain set of values here. What we want to do is we want to say, hey, the user can only type in the list of data that we see right here in our quarter year. So I've clicked into D2 here. Um, I uh, was on my homepage. I clicked on data. Click on data validation right here. Select data validation. And then you get lots of different criteria here. You can also do an input message. You can do an alert error. But we're going to keep things really simple here. We'll say um, we're, our validation criteria are going to be anything that's on a list. And the list here, again, for our quarter year is going to be everything that is right in here. So again, I clicked in source, and then I clicked here, and then I dragged it down to here. So that's clicking from C7 down to C29. And uh, we'll click OK. We're going to do the same kind of thing in product category. So we click in product category. We click on data validation, add data validation here. It's not going to be any value. You can put input the values here too, but list works really well. And again, that was one of the criteria that was specified. Even if you add columns in here, everything should work. So we're going to say list. And then what is our source going to be? It's going to be um, iPhone through other products. And we'll click on OK right here. And again, this is another thing that we could do instead of avoiding the plus in here for the plus one, is we could have done our validation straight through just on these guys so the user couldn't type in any extra ones. But we could have um, instead done our uh, match from this one through this one. And that would have uh, done the match, but it would have counted this as two, three, four, five, even though it would have been impossible for us to put in the quarter year in there. Either way would work. There's always lots of different ways to get things accomplished in Excel. I'm going to click on OK here. So let's make sure that this works right now. So I'm going to click over here. And again, you can pull down and see the different products in here too, or you can pull, you know, if we go over here, we can see the huge list that you can scroll through of all of the different quarters. But let's imagine, for example, um, instead of saying Mac here, I type in uh, Macintosh and I get an error message there. So let's go ahead and retry that. Um, what if I just go ahead and type in Mac instead? And of course, if I type in Mac, that works. It gets me 1424. What if I were to try to do um, instead, if I try to do 2018 in here, and we see, okay, that's going to allow me to go ahead and retry. If I click off, uh, we can see it's not going to allow me to click off until I enter a valid number in there. So again, if I go ahead and do, let's do um, Q2 of um, 2012. And that should get us to 1295. And in fact, that's exactly what we see here. So um, these are uh, percentages here. If you wanted to organize these, um, you know, with decimals or whatever, but um, you know, it just said to make sure that. Uh, let's double check what we've got in here. Whoops. Um, uh, so your formulas should work even if uh, we expand. No cell in the worksheet should display more than two decimals. So all of this is looking great. Keep the cell border clean. Um, so, you know, this is fine. I would provide more specific information if I thought that, but I see nothing more than two decimal places in here. So this is the answer to um, our Apple spreadsheet, which is uh, problem number four.